Hey, that's me again. I'm now gonna show you. This is the drill, which you could use this up to three, three and a half inches. It have a high speed, it's a nine amps uh, power. And once you uh, attach it over here, everything, you leave it loose until you install the shaft and line it up, put the shaft over here uh, tighten it those set screw and then you could start to concentrate to locking all the other screws over here and it's kind of tricky uh, this nut over here you're just gonna hold it like this with some kind of uh, wrench or something or with the pliers because as you see it I have a so so big fingers, I cannot shove it there. That's why you could use a, a pliers, whatever you have comfortable, and you just grab the nut, hold it the nut and tighten it. Yes, it is the other drive. The one which I show you before, it's a, a mix for the cement mixer motor, which is 13 amps and very powerful, have a two speed. This drill have only one speed, but at least have adjustments over here and so and when you go with the power fit on very low speed let's say you adjust it over here the knob on very low speed and you engage it and this is not turning on you're just gonna go and just lock in a little bit like this and you see how the clutch inside clicking and it's gonna engage if you are on a very very low speed you have to again you have to turn it this one and you look at this one does not turn it on then you turn it over here a little bit like this and it's engaged in the things uh the the clutch okay that's the trick which i learned after a while and i was thinking the motor is not working and so on but Everything just fine. That's the way it is. Okay, thank you very much. And good luck with your project, guys. I appreciate your business. Thank you very much. And you could also use a two, two wrenches. With one, you're going to hold the head of the screw. And with the other one, you're going to lock in the nut to tighten it once you are ready with the other setup. Again, thank you. Bye.